most important thing before going to Hangzhou was getting some breakfast. This is a flattened meat pie called a Bing. Hangzhou is less than an hour away from where we live in Shanghai, so we popped on the bullet train and headed into the city. It's my first time in Hangzhou, but before we start exploring, it's time to have some lunch. We went to Blue Frog in the Kerry Centre because Mew wanted to try some steaks. I have eaten so much, I have been defeated by the steak. We then headed back to our hotel, Pagoda. So this is our hotel room. <laughs> bathroom. Hello. Shower. All oh, the lovely jasmine shower gels. Tea station. Huge bed. A little Japanese tea area. And Views of the city. Hello, Hangzhou. One of the top things to do in Hangzhou is visit the West Lake scenic spot. Marco Polo once called Hangzhou the most beautiful city in the world. And from this lake, I can see why. Within Westlake, you can find Lei Feng Pagoda. Tickets are 40 RMB each and can be purchased via QR code if you have a Chinese identity. If not, you can go to the ticket counter. You will need some ID, so make sure you take your passport. This pagoda was reconstructed fairly recently, and as you can see, there is an escalator going to the top. Note there's not one going down though. The views from the top of the pagoda are definitely worth the step. There are many boat trips of different durations and routes on the West Lake. We took a sunset cruise, which was beautiful, although quite chilly. We are going on a hunt for some street food. Apparently there's a night market down here, so we're gonna go and check it out. Mew is too tall when I try and film myself. I miss his head. <laughs>
elevator with a robot. Hello. After you, robot. Bye bye. Where are you going? <laughs> are you coming to our room with us? You want to be my pet? The next morning we woke up early and headed to Hufangji, which is supposed to be a food and cultural street, although lots of things were closed. After exploring the streets in the cold, it was time to have some caffeine for Mew and a hot chocolate for me. After our cafe break, we headed to Hangzhou restaurant, which has been well recommended on Little Red Book. Mew, what is this? It's looters, whatever, powder with some water. Mm. Is this traditional for Hangzhou? Mm -hmm. And this one is fish. What is this, Mew? Dong Po Pok. Dong Po Pok. Mm -hmm. mm. We also got some noodles. What are they it's called? It's called Carrot Chuan. Uh, and these are from Hangzhou? Yeah, it's special type noodles. Yeah. Mm. And what meat is that? I think it's pork. Yeah, it's pork. Huh. We are at the Mei, Mei Jia Wu uh, tea plantations. So it's about a 30 minute drive from central Hangzhou. And here there are tea everywhere. So, and there are some tea houses up here apparently. So we're gonna see if we can find them. again I'm following you up a trail
In the evening, we headed into the city centre to find some Korean barbecue for dinner. I must admit, this is the best cheese tteokbokki I have ever had. The next day we took a slow morning of cafes and lunch before getting the train back to Shanghai. There is an abundance of small cafes in Hangzhou. We went to see you. around the corner to Al Banco, a little Italian restaurant. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. See you next time.